Hey yo, what is up? Welcome back to the video. Cameo the Younger here, and today we're gonna be playing some Windbound, the new Legend of Zelda clone from a studio. Five Live Studios. Oh my god, this only has a 6 on Steam, dude. Come on, don't hate on this game like that. Anyway, this is Windbound. It's actually a really fun game. Don't believe Steam. Those people probably just don't like it because of how cartoony it looks. It doesn't really look like it'll be a cartoon game, but you know. You know what? It's a good game, okay? Like, for real, if you're looking for something that you can just, like, chill out and play, this is the game for you, okay? <laughs> now I'm actually starting a new playthrough. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get all the good stuff early on, how to progress the quickest because see the uh, overall the way to progress the story in this game you have to uh, basically just go to each island with your boat you know and uh, collect the stuff while avoiding starving and all of that stuff now I will admit the combat in this game is a little lackluster but <laughs> it's about the environment and the art style for me like those two things they go together really well and uh, yeah, we're just gonna get into the video. If the game would let us. I forgot how long this opening is. So yeah, right here, you'll basically just want to gather up as much grass as you can. Good thing that she still has her knife. But yeah, just gather up all the grass you can. Now people say that this game isn't the best game in the world, and I agree. However, I see some people rating Stranded Deep better than this, and I'm just like, dude, no. <laughs> Stranded Deep is horrible. Stranded Deep is actually abysmal. Okay, so... <clears throat> I'm playing on the survivalist difficulty. It's the one where, like, if you fail, you get reset. But, uh, I remember what I need to do right here, so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and gather up all the stuff that I need. That way I can just get through this a bit quicker. <laughs> but yeah, you'll wanna run up here. This game doesn't really explain a lot to you doesn't really tell you how to progress really, it just points you in a direction. I actually sat here for a good just 30 minutes on this one spot trying to figure out what to do. At first I thought it was some sort of like sky block type thing, but it wasn't. I like the art style of this game though, it looks really beautiful. We have the War of Legend. So my number one tip, the sleep is needed, but it can wait. <sighs> yes, I can make rope from grass, I'm aware. Dismiss tutorial. Oh my god. Okay, what else do I need? I need one more grass rope. There we go, we have a boat now. Now, the reason I say wait till chapter 2 at least to do the, uh, whatchamacallit, is because I actually had a save where I started out and it's a reason I had to restart the entire game, okay? It was my first save. And, um,. I actually wound up putting a sail on my boat, and because of like the way that the islands are in this, like I'm sure in the later sections it's not as egregious as this, but uh, my goodness, okay, I could not navigate at all. Like, I'd be there, okay. 
trying to sail and I had to come up with this trick and it was just going so slowly like I had to keep the uh, mast pulled in as far as possible and only slightly release it like my dudes you have no idea okay there we go so what you're supposed to do here is collect all of those things from each of the various islands they're called Nautilus Keys. Anyway, you grab them and you just navigate down this thing right here. You can do this all relatively quickly as well. Like, this is a pretty fast thing to do. You don't really have to spend that much time here on these basic islands. And boom, now we have the second Nautilus key, and we can keep on progressing. And what we're going to do after this is uh, go get the third one, and then we're going to sail to the really creepy looking island. Oh! You good? You good? You good? That looked painful. Okay, I actually am going to try to look for some food right quick. Now you can get food from, uh, whatchamacallits, bushes. Oh hey, there's a stick, I need that stick. There we go. Okay, is there seriously, like, no food bushes here at all? There we go, there's some food. So yeah, from these places like this you can actually pick up some sea shards and stuff. Oh hey, that is a rare drop right there. There's something to kill, there's something to kill. Hey friend, let me introduce myself. I swear Dark Souls at its finest. Oh no. Ooh. Zero hits. Now combat in this game is very basic. Ooh. Oh, you're starting to look like War of the Boreal Valley. No! Can I please hit you? Let me poke you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna keep on moving now. <laughs> that went better than expected. This, uh, this thing's actually pretty OP.
There we go. Wait a minute. They ain't no tower here. Bruh. I know you ain't gonna do me that way. Uh-uh. Okay, well, I will return to you in a minute after I find that tower. Uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. Now, before I go any further... Is there, like, legitimately no fucking food here, dude? Okay, and now we have all three Nautilus keys. Now, we just have to go over to that big skulking monstrosity of a tower. If I could like, if I could actually drop down. Thank you, thank you. So we already put one there. We already put one there. Now we just have to do one more right up here. And then we will actually travel into just chapter two. Boom. Something that I do not like about this game is the fact that, uh, it's pretty much permadeath, if that makes sense. Like, you start out. Now, thanks again, all you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like. Please, thank you. I really need it. The channel's been popping off lately. I've almost got a thousand views in the last two days. And that's just unbelievable to me. Or not in the last two days, in the last month. Like, for the channel to have that type of growth in just no time, really. It's just, like... It's awesome. Like, for real. Uh, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, there'll be another video later today. Maybe a little into the night, I don't know, it depends on how long I sleep for. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Later.